here for a dream. The finest like liquor moonshine is in brew, right here. Video. What you gonna do about it? Sir, this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire comedy. DJ for the radio! I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Are you serious? Did we not just agree this is serious problem? Calls for serious solution. First, you get him to follow you out of town. Oh, right. That's this enough. isn't funny. My dean isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Okay, what's really going on here? <laughs> Sorry, we was just joking around a bit. <laughs> it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Poor well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job, or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. Something like that could be tough to change. No, it's easy to fix. I tell Yefim over and over, go on, spoil sport, go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you! Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. So, what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more in the way of details. Ever been in bar fight? I can hold my own if that's what you mean. This one's a pretty tough cookie. Exactly what I mean. I want you to back up Travis in his first fight. I want to stage fight here in dugout. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? How would something like that even work? It makes sense, I promise. I have contacts, people I can count on. Real tough looking. But they will take a die for money. They confront Travis here at dugout. You step in and give him push he needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? If the goons are getting paid to fight, I want some too. I am not made out of money. Also, you are doing this out of kindness of heart for Travis, who is a good man. I have everything ready by six o'clock. Travis should be here by then, you show up, and it will go well. Promise. I don't want to get into this again, Piper. Can you just bother someone else? Yeah, sure. Thanks for stopping this time. This whole situation looks like trouble. I I didn't start this. I don't... I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. Why not stand up to him? No. I mean, no. That would be bad. With these men, it could... Well, it, it, it could turn violent. Don't you want this to stop? Yes. But... Nothing will change unless you make it happen. It's not that bad. I can just, I can just, I can just deal with this. Don't worry. I've got your back. Well, if you think it would work... We're right behind you. Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. Why am I doing this? Bullshit, man. This is not what I signed up for. This ain't over. You hear me? I, I don't... I don't... Uh, okay. I usually don't... Oh, God. 
This is why. This is why. Travis. Whoa. I can't believe it. We did it. I knew you had it in you. I can't. I can't believe it. You were right. Whoa. I've. I've got things to do now. Listen, really, I, I can't thank you enough. I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her, and I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. Why do I have to be involved in this? Think about it. I am Scarlet's boss. I tell her she needs to go see Travis. Suddenly she is thinking... <laughs> She is no longer just waitress. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis, and this will all be worth it. And you and I never talked about this, all right? Would you like it if he had mentioned you? Well, yeah. I guess I would. I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him, and I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. I'll go see him now. Thanks. What are you talking about? I am talking about Vadim. They took him. Th those men, th the ones that messed with Travis. Have you seen Vadim? He was grabbed at the dugout, and Yafin thought you might know where Bull took him. What? That's... that's not a funny joke. Like, at all. You think this is a joke? Ha ha ha. Wait, what? Really? Oh... oh man, wow, is this... This is because of what happened, isn't it? It's... it's my fault. What does it matter whose fault it was? I guess... Maybe it doesn't matter. But getting him back does. Look, I don't, I don't really... I mean... I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing, or in trouble, or whatever, then I'm gonna help get him back. All right. I'd welcome the help. Good. I didn't... I didn't want to have to argue about it with you. I've heard enough to know they're probably holed up at the old Beantown Brewery. We've got to go in there, show them we mean business, and, and then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Right? I'll... I'll get a gun, and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. I'm on a break right now.
Thank you. I didn't know if anyone would come. I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, thank you, thank you. You are true friend. You're welcome, Vadim. We weren't gonna leave you to these guys. You are good woman. <laughs> these idiots had caps and cams just lying around. <laughs> they, they did not notice when I filled my pockets. You deserve what I took. Ah, and Travis, I am... You came through it all pretty well, Travis. That's good to hear. Thanks. What's the story with this place? Not much to say. We sell food, drink, and rooms. Mainly for traders that come to the area. My brother Vadim runs the bar. Scarlet's our waitress, and she helps me keep the rooms clean. As much as they can be. Fine. Here's your caps. Room two is yours. Enjoy.